It's a nice place to live. 1180 Raymond Boulevard, a luxury building in downtown Newark with billiards, bowling, and some of the best panoramic views of the area. But whose water testing results should tenants believe, the city of Newark's or an independent lab's? In an email to tenants, building management said it had ordered independent water testing with a qualified consultant, and late last week the lab reported finding an elevated level of lead in the water entering the building, higher than the EPA action level of 15 parts per billion. The email states further testing and evaluation are needed because results may vary depending on a number of factors. But in the meantime, we are asking our residents not to use the water for drinking, cooking, preparing baby formula, or brushing teeth. Please avoid ingesting water when bathing and showering. The building has been giving tenants bottled water. Newark disputes the validity of those results. According to a press release, the Water Department took samples of water entering 1180 Raymond Boulevard on Saturday and had one of four NJDEP certified labs analyze the water, and the lab determined the sample has undetectable levels of lead less than five parts per billion of lead, consistent with the test performed on January 10th, 2019. Juan Fernandez, who recently moved into 1180, was unaware of the city's lab results. Who do you believe? Uh, <laughs> that's, I don't know, at this point I can't say. I need more information. But you're not drinking the, wa the tap water? I, no, I'm not drinking the tap water. I wasn't drinking the tap water before. Yeah. Why is that? I, do not have uh, great confidence in tap water in New Jersey, I guess. In general? In general, yes. Good. The Wanaku treatment plant serves 1180 in Newark's downtown. The city has consistently said downtown buildings don't have elevated levels of lead found in older homes, homes targeted to have their lead service lines replaced within three years. Newark is giving bottled water to residents on the city's west side, who are served by the Paquanic Water Treatment Facility, after filtered water there recently showed elevated levels of lead. Right now, Newark is awaiting test results of a couple hundred filters. On Friday, a federal judge agreed with Newark and declined to order the city to give bottled water to pregnant women, nursing mothers, and children under six served by the Wanakew plant after testimony that the city was already giving water to those residents. Anybody that comes up, we give them a bottle of water. Citywide. Anybody that comes to any of our sites, we give them bottle of water. Anybody. 1180's management has not responded to emails and phone calls, and neither the city nor the state DEP have named the consultant 1180 hire to test the water. In the meantime, the mayor's press release on Sunday says it's important that any sampling of water for lead testing follow prescribed and verified scientific protocols. The city encourages businesses that are looking to have their water tested to work with NJDEP certified labs to conduct testing to ensure the correct protocols are followed. Michael Hill, NJTV News.